Now, the Uganda People's Defense Forces, UPDF, has distanced itself from uh, the allegations of denying ambulances affiliated to political parties access to the general military hospitals. Now, last week, the Member of Parliament for Katikamu South, that is uh, Mr. Hassan Chirumira, claimed that ambulances branded with posters of opposition politicians, especially from uh, the NUP camp, had been denied access to the Bombo Military Hospital in Luero District. However, uh, the spokesperson of uh, UPDF, Brigadier General Felix Kulaje, has said, we treat everyone and uh, we never ask for party affiliations. Why should we stop ambulances if they are doing the right job? However, we reiterate our resolve that security protocols must be respected to access military medical services. Well, there you go. Uh, that is a statement coming in from uh, the UPDF spokesperson, Brigadier General Felix Kulaje. Now, Bobby Wine's bodyguard, Jamshid Kavuma, was expected in court today after the habeas corpus application was fixed for hearing today. However, the news coming in from that side of court is that Jamshid has not been produced in court because reportedly the judge lost a relative, so it wasn't possible to have Jamshid in court. We are yet to know the next date he's going to be brought to court, and I'll keep you posted. And actually, we are now talking about one month since he was abducted and there's nobody who knows where he is. And in other news, according to what is circulating on social media, Sheikh Yaya Mwanje was released by CMY last night. Uh, he had also been abducted by people in a drone, just like Bobby Wine's bodyguard. <laughs> Well, that's it for now on The Buzz UG. Don't forget to subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Milo, a.k.a. Fuller, and it's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio Jungle.